Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today I have here the HP MVX2 and this is a hybrid a Windows 8 tablet a dual core processor. So what I want to show you guys today is uh, I'm going to actually upgrade this tablet right now during this video uh, to Windows 8.1. Uh, for those of you that has a Windows 8 uh, laptop or tablet uh, touch or whatever um, if you go into the store you're probably gonna get a a tile that says upgrade to update to Windows 8.1 for free so this is basically how you're gonna do it so before we do that I just want to show you guys a couple of things uh, um, that are gonna be different after I do the update so as far as um, uh, right here we don't have anything once we upgrade to Windows 8.1 we're gonna see I believe it's the Windows logo somewhere here and an arrow that will take us to to our applications so right now if we swipe up uh, we get here all apps and we can click here and we get access to all the apps uh, we click here again and we get back to the main screen also, as far as the tiles, that's one of the main uh, changes or one of the big changes of uh, Windows 8.1. Right now, Windows 8, uh, if we hard press on one of the tiles, um, as you guys can see, it gets checked right here. And then we get a menu right here at the bottom. It says right here, on pin from start, uninstalled, smaller, turn live tile off. So as you guys can see right here for the pictures, the pictures are changing all the time. So if, if we can turn that off, uh, we can uh, make it smaller, just like that. Or, or go back to the bigger size. Uh, that also changed with Windows 8.1. And uh, not only you can make it smaller or bigger, but you can resize it and adjust this. Uh, I believe it's uh, three different sizes. Uh, so we're going to see that once we do the update. Uh, one of the other things too is that uh, we're going to see different applications that comes with Windows 8 that are really cool apps and we're going to go over that. Uh, the other thing too is that when we go here, swipe to the left and click on settings. Right here we only get access to start tiles help. Uh, with the new Windows 8.1 we're going to get access to... Uh, personalize and we're going to be able to change uh, wallpaper, customize uh, the background color of the wallpaper and all that. And then also under here under share we're going to be able to uh, use a new application that comes with Windows 8.1 uh, where you can actually add different uh, articles from different pages to that application so you can read later but, but I'm going to show you guys that once we do the update so those are like kind of like the main things um, that uh, we're going to see with Windows 8.1. So let's go ahead and start with the update. Um, basically, we're just going to click right here and just uh, follow the prompts. As you guys can see, it says uh, uh, Windows 8.1 download. After the download, you'll be asked to accept Windows software license terms. Um, if you do not accept, your prior version will be restored. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the update and uh, get back to you guys as soon as uh, the computer is Hey okay. guys, uh, just an update here on the download. As you guys can see, we're a little over halfway and it's been about 40 minutes. So just a heads up, this is going to be a long file. It's probably going to take about an hour, hour and 20 minutes up. Alright guys, so now we are uh, right here on the home screen of uh, the new Windows 8.1. Uh, so one of the things that they change, uh, it's uh, the size of the icons. So if we swipe up right here, um, we get access here to customize. And you can actually name, uh, group, uh, create groups and, and uh, add a name right here for all your applications 
Uh, the other thing too is if you hard press one of the tiles, you get a menu down here. You get you can unpin the the tile, uninstall it, resize, and turn live tile off. Uh, this feature was already there with the Windows 8 uh, version. Uh, the difference now is that if you click right here on resize, you can actually do small, medium, wide, and large. That wasn't there before. It was just two options, either uh, small or, or big or large. So right there, it's a wide. If we click on large, that's how it looks like. Uh, we hard press it again and go back to, um, let's say, small. And that's how it's going to look like. And then let's go back to wide. So that's one of the things that they change. Uh, the other thing too is uh, if we swipe right here to the to the left and we click on settings, uh, right here we get access to star, personalize, tiles, and help. Uh, personalize wasn't there before. So now if we click on personalize, uh, we get access to all these uh, wallpapers, background color, and accent color. Uh, so right now, let's say we want to change uh, the wallpaper that we see in the background, like this one right here. So let's click on uh, let's click on this one right here, and there you have it. Uh, we can click on that one, this one. whatever color you like or background and then right here we can change the background color and then we can change also the accent color so just depending on, on whatever you like so as you guys can see there is a lot of personal personalization when it comes to the wallpaper uh, the background color and the accent color so again this is new right here under settings and personalize that option was in there um, another option uh, or feature that they added it's that uh, it comes with this uh, two so actually three software right here uh, the top one is called reading list this comes included in the download with the 8.1 uh, Windows uh, version. And what it, what this does is basically, uh, if you are, let's say, browsing the internet and you find an, art, an article or something on a page that you want to read, uh, you can actually save it to read it later and add it to the reading list. So, just to give you guys an example, if we are right here, and actually let's open a different page uh, the other thing guys too that changes that every time before that you swipe up and click on the plus to open or add a new tab uh, these uh, windows right here were on the top so now it's on the bottom so let's go ahead and open uh, let's go to CNN And let's say uh, we want to look at this uh, article or at this uh, page uh, right here later. We don't have time right now or whatever. Uh, so we swipe to the, to the left. And we're going to click right here on chair. And then we're going to click on reading list. And then you're going to click on add. So now that's added. Let's go ahead and close this uh, tab. So now that's added to uh, reading list. So if we click on reading list now, the article is right there. So if we click on this, it's basically going to take you uh, to the article. And as you guys can see, also we get the multi-window option. So it's not going to close your application, which is good. But it, instead of just going to open, uh, it's going to split the screen and open uh, the page and display the article that you want to read. 
and then from this point you can resize this right here and then you can be looking at two things at the same time here's another article that I previously saved so as you can see I just click on the article and it's gonna display it right here without affecting my window that I have right here and again it can be resized um, so that's one of the things that they added uh, so let's go ahead and close this and close this too uh, the other two uh, programs that they added is uh, this program right here and it's called Bing Food and Drink and it's a really really cool uh, software uh, it offers some kind of all kind of information about uh, food uh, recipes uh, all kind of uh, nutritional uh, information you can add a recipe you get access here to a shopping list uh, today's meal plan and then right here you get uh, tips and techniques as far as like food and drink um, you get access here to all, all kind of uh, articles and uh, information about food and culture and drinks so this is really interesting and uh, it will help for you know if you want to look at different, different recipes or things like that for special occasions or whatever there's a lot of information here so that, that's really cool uh, the other software that they added it's uh, this one right here I'm sorry this is yeah this is the same that we're, we're looking at uh, the other one is this one right here it's called being health uh, and fitness and this is basically um, a page uh, loaded with uh, all kind of information regarding health and fitness and if you, anything from uh, tips on how to exercise, lose weight, uh, work out and all that to uh, health and how to maintain your health and uh, uh, right here we get access here to um, some type of a workout Uh, suggestions um, just news and articles related to health and fitness uh, right here we get access to nutrition health snacks uh, options uh, so there's a lot of information and very very helpful and useful uh, website right here or application that they added uh, you can take a tool right here track your diet check your symptoms track your health so this is really helpful and informational so that's the other software that they added and then also on top of that we get access here, here to help and tips and if we click right here uh, we get access to all kind of um, um, help and tips uh, related to the new Windows 8.1 uh, right here we see start and apps uh, get around basic actions uh, your account and files settings what's new and then also right here we get a search uh, bar and uh, one of the other things uh, too as far as the search bar is that the search bar now it's gonna as you can see it says everywhere so it's gonna search everywhere if you type something it's gonna search your computer it's gonna search the web uh, it's gonna search anything for that particular word so like if we type um, let's say diet so as you guys can see it's going to display different searches and options for uh, the word that you type so that's uh, really helpful uh, again uh, let's do uh, sugar so as you guys can see it's gonna provide a bunch of suggestions right here as you're typing so that's one of the other things that they change uh, other than that um, 
we can still swipe between different apps and again this change now this is at the bottom So as you guys can see, we can switch between apps really quick without any problem. So another thing that was added to the new uh, Windows 8.1, as you guys can see right here, we get this arrow right here, so if we click on it, uh, we get access to the apps. If we click back to the arrow, then we're back to the main screen. Also, uh, if we click on desktop, uh, we get the Windows logo right here, which uh, we didn't have before. And if we click on it, we get back to the to the main uh, uh, home uh, Windows 8.1 uh, uh, home screen. So we can switch between that and the desktop mode. Um, so those are the two differences uh, we didn't have this arrow before and we didn't have the Windows logo right here all right guys so there you have it that's a new look at the uh, Windows 8.1 uh, overall also it improved uh, the performance of uh, the applications and the, the computer in general it opens everything uh, faster uh, better performance so as you guys can see, it closes and, er and opens everything very quick. So guys, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Again, that was an update uh, to Windows 8.1 and this is the HP MBX2. Uh, see you later.